This is what I wanted to explain today, um, just based off of what I've learned and the amount of time uh, that I've been alive experiencing love, for that matter. Um, okay, so to understand the other person's nature, understand their patterns understand how they or how they are as a person is the most important thing and to have self-love while loving is a very important thing because look at it this way if you fall in love with someone right and you start to see that all right this person is bipolar right and that, that some days they'll wake up very good some days they'll wake up very bad some days won't be like the other you know what i'm saying that they have no control of their nature you'll understand that nature and in understanding that nature you can thoroughly observe them and really watch their actions so when no relationship or in no situation is disrespect in any shape or form tolerable you you need to have you need to increase your self-love you need to increase the m amount of time that you spend with yourself get off of the cell phone get off the fucking internet be a person and learn how to love yourself so that way we can end this cycle of destruction. We can end this cycle of hate and we can start experiencing more love and there will be more there, there will be more, more love in the streets, more genuine love, more genuine care for people. You can't care for someone if you don't love yourself and really you the, the world can can be destroyed in that way. So the only way to really be a better person and and ascend into a different light of relationship or love is to love yourself and i know that sounds crazy but bro, i left off i know it sounds crazy i know it sounds fucking hard i know it it sounds tiring um but it's better than really being a fucking like a, a drone and and basically only living in anger and hate and living in regret like don't live in regret that's there's no point in living in regret there's no point in li living in negativity like i'm not trying to be some su su fucking super pseudo science motherfucker talking about crazy shit i'm not even talking about religion bro i'm just telling bro you like you can't even be in a religion bro if you don't know yourself bro if you, you can't worship something if you don't know yourself bro you have to love yourself you have to understand yourself to take a second and sit down to thoroughly observe your patterns do you move when you don't want to move do you get angry when you don't want to get angry you have to fix these things about yourself you have to give a fuck about yourself and that makes life so much better like i'm learning to do it now and it makes life 10 times better it makes you feel better it makes you more tolerable about all right all right so let's look at it this way this is what i want you to do you cannot consider yourself a follower or supporter of me if you do not do this. If you do not do this, do not follow me. Do not call yourself a fan. Do not speak to me. Do not comment on my pictures. Let me drown in the hate of the world. Look, I want you to start a journal. I want you to start a journal and I want you to start writing down your thoughts. For now, write down in your journal. journal create and evolve. Now, the purpose of creation will be in the purpose of creation in your in your journal will, will be to create different goals for yourself, different ops, like different different things you want to do or different things you want to be and see and and to play with that as a purpose and to play with that as a pattern and a schedule. It will create a schedule to evolve to let's make to evolve to evolve your your current state.